What up Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Let's see what's in store for you this May 2024. Alright Spirit, what's going on for Sagittarius? May. Heard walking into a new door, which we'll get clarity on that. Interesting. Why is everybody arguing with themselves? Every time I look at this, uh, oh, never mind. Okay, so what I was gonna say is it feels like every fucking sign that I've looked at may looks like they're wanting to go their own way and having this internal struggle about it. The way that I'm seeing this play out for you guys, it feels like there's an old identity that you guys are trying to grapple with. It feels like you guys have grown a lot, changed a lot, and now there's this old version of yourself. I don't know if this is like an old friend that comes back into your life or maybe just somebody who just perpetually sees you at this like younger version of yourself but it ultimately just feels like you're you're kind of wanting to break free of that what is this ace of wands in reverse for sagittarius damn ace of swords in reverse too it's also like you're not exactly sure on how to communicate how much you changed without it potentially offending somebody I feel like there's almost this this energy of rebellion where you're just like, that's not who I fucking am anymore, grandma. Like that kind of shit. Um, yeah, definitely this wanting to break free of like an old identity, but not necessarily sure on how to go about communicating this new this new voice of yours, you know? So what's going on in your thoughts? Ooh, I feel like you're really proud of who you are right now. I feel like you've come a long way. There's potential, potentially something happening in May that allows you to kind of, I don't know if you're like graduating or um, you're having, I was about to say having a birthday, but that is not possible. Uh, but it just feels like getting an award or something like that. Like there's something happening in your life that kind of makes you feel really proud feels like you won the six of wands is about victory this is also like a um like a home game kind of victory you know so you're coming back into your own environment your own environment that you grew up in and you're showing up as this winner as this victor so i definitely feel something really beautiful showing up for you this month can we get some clarity on this victory spirit what's this victory for sagittarius oh the queen of swords again so your clear communication expresses what's best for all and it has a three of cups, which is about like, I always see that as like having a drink and chit chatting with your best Judy's, like just shooting the shit with your girlfriends kind of thing. Um, so it definitely feels like you are being, you're being looked at as this person who provides clarity, provides direction for your friend group and your community. And to me, it just feels like there's an aspect of your familial group so like your family members that still look at you as like you're a child who hasn't really developed those those skills that your community looks at you and your friends look at you and you're like damn your friends look at you and put you on a pedestal and be like damn look at that bitch she's living her life she's doing the damn thing celebrate her give her her flowers and then you go home and your mom's like you ain't shit ho who do you think you are like it feels like that sort of dynamic is being brought to your attention this month so what's going on underneath the surface for them? Empress in reverse, damn, that's that mom telling you you ain't shit when you get home. That's some shit, I don't like that. Okay, let's see. Temperance. Seek balance and create a calm atmosphere. That's the advice around that, because it feels like, 
the I've said enough on that. Let's see. What was a recent past for Sagittarius? World in reverse, near future, two of swords. This two of swords has been showing up for quite a few of the zodiac signs. So just know that you're not alone on feeling like you're at this crossroads in life, especially with the near or the recent past being the world in reverse. Feels like you've kind of been in this autopilot groundhog's day sort of environment. I mean, the extreme version that's coming to mind right now is Precious, the movie where she's finding out that she's actually talented and gifted and smart and capable and, and all of these things. And then she goes home and it's the same hell. It's the same discomfort. It's the same disrespect. It's, it's all of that shit. And so getting to that breaking point where you're like, okay, shit needs to switch up. I need to let myself really find my way to thrive, to get out of this, this cycle, to get out of this loop of everything that we've just been talking about, you know? So what's this two of swords about spirit? Moon in reverse. You're definitely going to have some clarity on um on things i think you're gonna see it for what it is and just be like okay i can't keep staying here if i keep feeling triggered or feeling like i can't really speak my mind or i do feel like a perpetual child when i'm around this person then you need to make decision like you need to make a decision based off of that information okay if this is the situation and i don't like it what can i do how can i get a clear description of what it is that I want moving forward. The queen of swords is lovingly the ice queen. I mean, lovingly in the sense of like, she knows what is best for her. She might have a bit of a chip on her shoulder about it, but ultimately it's like, does this align? If not, it goes period. And so that's, that's really where you're being guided into is like at the end of the day, I don't like how this environment is is making me feel. I'm out. So how can you affect the situation? Page of Wands. Explore new avenues. Possibly travel. Expand your um, your intellect on on something. Do a little bit more research on something. If you're feeling stagnant within your career and that's the loop that you've been in, then it's about maybe getting a new certification in something. Educating yourself a little bit more. But essentially, it's like expand your horizons. How is spirit affecting the situation? Nine of wands in reverse. Let's get some clarification around that, please. Because it's kind of like when the nine of wands is in reverse, it's like getting gassed out right before the finish line. It's like, bitch, you were right there. Don't collapse. So it feels like they're putting the pressure on. Okay, so nine of wands in reverse. What do you want them to know about that spirit? Six of Swords in reverse. Stuck, stalemate, unwanted proposal, um, unaccepted offer, lack of empathy. So it it feels like what you're being called to do is allow yourself to get out of these chaotic thoughts, essentially. Get out of your own way. Call it for what it is. Recognize how stuck you've been feeling in this one regard and access the resources that you haven't really let yourself access before. It just feels like May is kind of pushing you to this, this breaking point of recognizing the people you want to be around and the people you don't be, want to be around and then making the appropriate adjustments. So let's see, what's the advice? Knight of Wands in reverse and the outcome, Ten of Wands in reverse. Well, that's beautiful. Ten of Wands is the card you want to see in reverse because it's about releasing burdens. King or Knight of Wands in reverse feels like you can't be so lax about certain things. The star upright, it's you need to prioritize yourself. Your dreams are coming true. You need to to see that. Renewal, faith, hope, healing, rejuvenation, unexpected help. So you can't just be so passive about how you've been feeling, how others have been making you feel give yourself the opportunity to really see yourself clearly and therefore releasing the burdens of dealing with shit that has literally nothing to do with you. This person is projecting and they can keep their projections to themselves. So 
what is it that you would like Sagittarius to know in May? Rest. You've been working hard. Take a nap. Get some rest. A new dawn. The worst is now behind you. A positive and new experience. Wait. And positive and new experiences are on the horizon. So. Ooh. And then that one too. Positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. This just feels like the name of the game for you right now. Rest. Recharge. Know that things are headed in a much more beautiful direction. You're just going to need to allow yourself to know that you don't need to fight with yourself on this anymore. I'm not going to keep arguing of if I'm going to stay or if I'm going to leave. I simply know that this has an expiration date, that this living situation, this relationship, this mindset has an expiration date. And I know that I'm on my way out. I just need to give myself a moment to prepare and know that in the meantime, I'm going to be kind to myself and rest preparing for this new trajectory, this new beginning, and allowing myself to really align with the people that I want to be around and their, their projections of me, you know what I'm saying? Like align with those that are a positive reflection of yourself. Okay. I am boldly taking up my fucking space. I am living my boldest, baddest life. Yeah, you guys aren't living quietly. Sagittarius, you guys are not supposed to live quietly. You're the archer. You're supposed to aim at your target and shoot. And whatever happens, fucking happens. But you need to aim and shoot. And it feels like you're ready for that again. You're ready to like get clear on your vision so you can aim and shoot. So what's some self care for them this month? Write a gratitude list and read, you know, it's talking about research, expand your mind, all of that good stuff. So we have 42 and 55. I'm only going to be reading a little bit from the guidebook, but if you want to have like the full enchilada, then go ahead and pause and you could take a screenshot or you could read. Oh, and then you have a rest over here too. Perfect. Um, I enjoy expanding my mind. What was your favorite book to read as a kid and how does it make you feel to think about reading it now? And then just bonus rest over here. I am grateful. What are you grateful for? How can you show more gratitude daily? All right, Sagittarius. So that is what I am seeing for May for you guys. Let me know how that resonates. Circle back at the end of the month and let me know how this all falls into place. And if you'd like to get a personal reading, uh, come to one of my full moon ceremonies, learn how to read tarot. All of that is on my website, jessieretroreadings.com, which is always linked in the description of these videos. But until next time, if they ain't paying your bills, and even if they are paying your fucking bills, pay them bitches no mind. Check you later. Bye.